Hello friends, do you know electric motors consume 45% of the world's electricity? In India alone, more than 85% of installed motors are of low energy efficiency. Experts believe if India aims to achieve its COP26 target and grow economically, it has to focus on energy efficient motors. Now we are at the factory of ABB India in Bangalore and will be joined by Mr. Sanjeev Arora, President of Motion Business at ABB India that manufactures high efficient electric motors. Welcome Sanjeev for joining us. Right. Thank you very much. Right. So the uh, motors are being considered as the aim factor for industries across the spectrum. So could you tell us about the you know, role of motors in terms of achieving energy efficiency? So thank you for that question. I think this question is very close to my heart. Why? Because 45% uh, of the energy produced in, uh, uh, in the world globally is consumed by motor driven equipment. And if I convert what amount of energy is consumed by an industry, uh, so 60% of the uh, uh, energy consumed by motor driven equipments. So if that is the magnitude of things, then you can very well understand how important it is that we use energy efficiency motors in our plants. Because if you see the life cycle time of the motor, it is roughly about 13, 14, 15 years. And it is not that every year you are ch uh, you know, changing a motor. So, at this point of time, if we do the right selection, we, uh, we are ensuring that in times to come, we are actually saving energy while improving our productivity as well. I would also like to add to some statistics here that 50% of the motor produced uh, in our shop floors is either I3 or I4. No. Even though the minimum energy uh, efficiency guidelines as, as per our uh, Indian standards are that I2 is uh, more prevalent. So, we not only uh, try to uh, uh, emphasize that, but also make sure that our customer understands that piece well and on top of it, his, he gets on-time delivery of energy-efficient motors. So, so but if, we, if we talk about ABB in India, it has a history of around more than 100 years. Then 74 years of manufacturing in India, on top of that you have five manufacturing locations, I think 25 manufacturing plants, the huge, huge contribution to the Indian economy with more than 10,000 employees, if I'm not wrong. So sir, how do you look at the motion business? Because you hit the motion business, which is one of the four pillars of ABB in India. Motion business is very easy to understand that it keeps the world rotating while saving the energy every day. Right. So that's one thing we always say this. So it constitutes of variable speed drives, motors, traction motors, and traction converters. To drill it more down, we have the low voltage drives, we have the medium voltage drives, we have low voltage motors, medium voltage motors, traction converters, both for, for the, uh, the, the propulsion, as well as for the auxiliary and we have traction motors on top of it so this entire piece is comes under abb motion uh, area right so coming to the electric motors you have two manufacturing facilities one is faridabad and one is in uh, right here where we are standing is uh, bangalore facility I think in Faridabad you are manufacturing up to 70 kilowatt uh, of 75 kilowatt 75 kilowatt of uh, capacities and here it's beyond that yes so could you tell us or let us give us a brief overview of the plant here what is the production capacity you have if you can talk more about that Faridabad plant it serves our customers uh, up to 75 kilowatt 
and this plant produces motors above 75 kilowatt up to 1 megawatt okay and we produce in various voltages up so low voltage we produce up to 690 but it can be various voltages below 690 and a lot of special features a lot of special applications and to give you that piece uh, i would not go into the technicalities of the motor but then we serve to um, you know various strata of uh, customers and various segments right from the process industries that is a heavy industry be it cement steel oil and gas pulp and paper means every industry heavy industry you will see uh, ABB high efficiency motor running with ABB drive as well all right then you come to uh, the I would say the discrete part that is a light industry you have food and beverages pharma textile and and maybe you can name any industry ABB motor will be there to make them more successful so you're talking about you no know, uh, making in India for the world I think and ABB is doing that since past 74 years so what What's next we can expect from your business division in the years to come? We are invested here in India for India. Okay. Giving our customers here in India the global technology, best in class quality, best in class service and also on top of it digitalizing their uh, equipments. So we have not only the products but we have uh, smart sensors which are plug and play put on the motor uh, which can sense the online monitoring of the data and customer can act monitor is seeing that data right so that piece also we are uh, embedding our products and digitalization will only come live when the products are speaking right so I think we are giving that piece uh, overall to our India. Right. Now, coming to your subject of export part. With this kind of a technology, I can tell you that all, I, I can use that word, all the major international OEMs who have the base in India, they are our customers. Right. And so we are, anyhow having a very good share of indirect export they have full faith and confidence in our technology and they know that we will serve our products wherever it is in the world because of the global presence so uh, we have been allo allocated some markets in the globe for direct export there is a uh, enough room to grow locally as well as more than enough room to grow globally as well so despite having the state-of-the-art advanced energy efficient product like yours of i3 i4 even i5 level now as you mentioned earlier that 85 percent of the installed motors in india are still of i1 grade or even i2 grade so uh, do you have any message to the customers or the end users in this context that why they should go for the higher version of or high efficient motors like yours see uh, what i would say is that we have uh, really over last uh, few years we have seen the growth story of india when i meet my customers i always request them that whenever you are doing a capex investments it is not for today tomorrow it is for years to come right so let's have the best choice and more energy efficient products more products which are digitally enabled to be in your process lines whether it is an upgradation brownfield greenfield whatever it is okay. so that tomorrow when they ha have to achieve their own uh, carbon neutral uh, objectives they are actually enabling that from today onwards so i think that's that's how I, I, I request my customers uh, right. to, be, to be more precise. Right, sir. That speaks the volume. So thank you so much. Great talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Hello, friends. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content.